Sonic, you finally found your family. And I know it hasn't always been easy, but you didn't change who you are in here. Are you guys ready to dive into one of the wildest and emotional theories about Sonic the Hedgehog 3? Could Tom Wachowski, Sonic's human best friend, actually die in the next film? This theory has been circulating online, and if it becomes true, it could completely change the course of the Sonic franchise. With no further ado, let's break down all the clues and see if there's a real chance Tom won't make it to the end of Sonic 3. He's too powerful. First of all, why is there even a theory about Tom's dad? Why do so many fans believe this could be true? Well, it's mostly because of some hints in the previous movies. To be more precise, some of the storylines in Sonic 2 hint at Tom Wachowski's death. Played by James Marsden, Tom has served as a key role in Sonic's journey since the beginning of the franchise. He's not just a human sidekick, he's Sonic's mentor, protector, and most importantly, He's Sonic's family. Based on the trailer for the third installment, this protective role could lead Tom to try to save Sonic once again, which could lead to him sacrificing himself just so that the titular character stays alive. One of the biggest reasons why fans believe in this theory is the shift in tone from the previous Sonic movies to what we know about Sonic 3. It's been confirmed that Sonic 3 will be darker when compared to its predecessors. The introduction of Shadow the Hedgehog hints that Sonic 3 will be more intense. Why? Well, Shadow's backstory is tragic and complex. It deals with themes of revenge, loss, and sacrifice. Shadow found only pain and loss. All right, we got a rogue alien on the loose. How do we find it? If the creators stay loyal to the source material, and if they adapt Shadow's original story from the games, the movie will be very different from what we've seen before. This could create the perfect setup for a character like Tom to go through some more serious situations. Shadow has lost someone very dear to him. The creators might want to mirror this storyline, with Sonic also losing someone he really loves. Tom's father figure is yet another thing that supports this theory. From the beginning, Tom has been the one to step up and defend Sonic. In Sonic the Hedgehog, we see Tom take huge risks, fight off threats, and even go on the run to protect Sonic from Dr. Robotnik. In the second installment, he does the same things trying to protect Sonic from various threats. Tom will do anything to keep Sonic from danger, and since the third installment introduces Shadow and the military organization Gun, Tom could easily end up in some very, very dangerous situations. Another thing that supports this theory is the fact that Sonic is growing up. At one point, he will have to deal with the danger on his own, which is how the creators could show some character development. We've already seen some bits of this in the second film, with Sonic becoming more independent, especially during his journey to find the Master Emerald. If Tom were to die, there would be a big change in the franchise, especially in the character of Sonic. Lying. The sneaking out, the, the pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. Whatever, you're being reckless. This would basically force Shadow to grow up and face challenges without Tom being there to protect him. I know such a storyline would lead to a darker and more intense film, but maybe it's the best thing that could happen for our beloved Sonic. Please, just hear me out. Maybe Tom's death could be used to create a strong motivation for Sonic to confront Shadow. In the games, Shadow suffers from the loss of someone close to him, Maria, a character that has made Shadow what he is today. It's been confirmed that Sonic 3 will include Maria, and this further supports the theory of Tom dying as the movie could use Tom's potential death as a parallel connecting Sonic and Shadow on a deeper level. This way, Sonic would be able to understand Shadow's pain and suffering. This doesn't have to mean that we are saying goodbye to Tom. No, there's the chance that this theory is just meant to make us talk about Sonic 3. A lot of movies do this. This has proved to be a great marketing strategy. Maybe after all, the creators are preparing us for a major fake out, where Tom faces a very dangerous, life-threatening situation, but ultimately survives. Let me know if you're ready for some power yoga, huh? <laughs> you bet. Come on, Tommy boy, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Don't make uh. me. This would definitely keep us on the edge of our seats while watching the movie, wondering if Tom will make it. 
Honestly, I don't think it's time for Tom Wachowski to die. I believe the next films could further explore this relationship with Sonic. His role in Sonic's life has been essential. But I have to admit, as Sonic's story develops and the stakes get higher, it's possible that Tom's story could come to a very emotional end. Do you guys really think he'll die in Sonic 3? The previously mentioned clues certainly add up to an interesting possibility. Losing Tom would be heartbreaking, but it could also push Sonic to a new level of development, strength, and heroism. Is this theory just too wild to be true? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned as we wait for more updates on Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Thanks for watching. See ya. Sonic, I've just been told they have sprinkles. Ice cream and sprinkles?